6.30, Monday, January the 17th, 1983. News, sofas and sweaters. British television viewers had never seen anything like it. Breakfast time was a hit. There was aerobics with the green goddess. It's the bust and the chest. We are delighted to say that Diana Moran, also known, of course, as the green goddess, joins us now. Minus the later, but we're going to see a bit of the later. Oh, you later. are indeed, yes. Good morning. Yes, yes. Good morning. Um, are you saying that this morning, getting ready for today, you kind of can still remember that day very clearly, can you? Tell us what it was like. I can, incredibly clearly. It was on Waterloo Station. And, uh, I mean, nothing had ever been done like this before. Uh, it was totally unknown. It was also incredibly cold, as Francis was saying. And uh, I was just in the shiny leotard and tights, as you can see, on Waterloo Station. I think the commuters thought I'd gone absolutely mad. <laughs> <not. laughs> and that was at about 6 o'clock in the morning when I was trying to get them to come and, and be with me. Yes. Um, it, it, it was just amazing, but I cannot believe that 30 years have gone. Mm. Yes, and it just talk us through... Well, oh, was it your idea to be in a green leotard and to do it that way? Who's, I mean, how did that come about? I was poached from the BBC. Uh, I was poached by the BBC by Ron Neal uh, from a program that I was doing down at HTV down in the West Country. It was an afternoon program, but it, and it went out network. So that's how he came to see right. it. And on that, I used to do keep fit in a green leotard. I'd started off in yellow, and they said I looked like a large prancing canary. I then went <laughs> into beige, and they said, good God, you look as if you've got nothing on. And then I went into the green. And I said to Ron Neal when he asked me, invited me to join the program, what do you want me to wear? And he said, oh, you're green, of course. And after that first day at Waterloo, the national press went back to HTV and they said, yeah, dish the dirt on this bird, who is she? What was all this about? Oh, really? And they said, because they knew me so well, I'd been an announcer down there, a newsreader, oh, that's Diana, our goddess, our green oh. goddess. And lo and behold, yeah. there was one. The rest now, is history. Just put in context, <laughs> at that time, you were sort of the vanguard of the, so the, those sort of fitness routines, because uh, Jane Fonda was kind of doing her thing in America, and you were some rivals. She, she right? was, indeed. I mean, I wasn't really aware of her until I began breakfast time and she had just begun all the aerobics in uh, America. That was the big thing, aerobics. Now the thing was she did going for the burn and all that really, really hard stuff. Fine if you're a keep fit nut, but I was trying to encourage Mr. and Mrs. Average and the kids and granddad as well uh, to do things. So my system was moderation in all things mm. and have fun. Uh, which people clearly did. It must have been extraordinary for you as well, because I imagine you were immensely, you know, well known at that time. I was, and it must have brought a lot of pressure to you too. Uh, yes, I couldn't go anywhere without people. You know, I'd, I'd walk down the street and people would start doing exercises in front of me. I'd go into a pub and they'd start doing, you know, the yes. exercise. It, 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 it was immense uh, pressure on me at the time. Mm. But uh, I don't know, somehow, we, we were such a good team. There were the sort of six of us, basically. And we were like a family. I mean, I laughed when I came in here today. If you knew these smart places, anybody who hasn't seen <laughs> Manchester <laughs> yet, go on, this is wonderful. But what it used to be like, people <laughs> love to know stories about things that went wrong. Uh, oh, at the, things that went wrong. Am I allowed to sort of say oh, so? Oh, oh, okay. Uh, at, a, at a very, very <laughs> upper crust uh, tennis club, Roehampton, outside of London, and I had um, a, a load of gentlemen working out with me at the tennis club, and I had them holding on to the net, doing very deep knee bends like okay. this. The camera's here. And I get the wind-up, because I was always live, and out I have to come. Yeah. And I looked up to the camera, and I said, well, as you can see, we've had great fun at the club here today. It's not only balls, bouncing on the courts, it's members too. Oh, yes. Well, there we go. Yes, very good, very good. Oh, things went wrong lots and lots of times. Of course, that's one the reason why people love it, isn't it? Because you're going to do it today, we've got a special, we're celebrating today. Yes, yes, yes. Tell us what you're going to do. I, I don't actually know. No, oh, you said no, 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 no. absolutely me on breakfast time all those years ago. Yes. You have told me that I've got a group of people. Yes, you have. They are somewhere, I don't know. Yeah, they're over, they're just somewhere. not far from I here. I do have a green outfit to put on in a moment. Fantastic. I don't know what the music is, and I don't know what we'll do yet. Well, oh, well. Say, sparing your blushes, can I say, you look remarkably uh, well. Thank you very much indeed. Thank fast, you. But, uh, you look very well, lovely. I have to say that perhaps it is a lifestyle that has stood me in good stead for those 30 years. 
Oh, fantastic. I'm really looking forward to whatever <laughs> you're going to do <laughs> with those people later. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Thanks for coming. Uh, uh, Breakfast Time was the first daily TV show to have as well its own resident fitness expert. Anna Moran, or the Green Goddess, as she was of course known, had the entire country up off their sofas and working out. So we thought we'd get her in to see if she still got what it takes. And Mike is with her just outside our studios now. Morning! Yeah, good morning. You know what? She definitely has. What a moment this is for breakfast TV because 30 years on after it all started on a cold day diner on Waterloo Bridge, <laughs> here you are again. The green leotard is back. The green goddess is back. He looks fantastic. You're very kind. It's a modern version of the green, uh, of the, the green leotard and tights, yeah. Fantastic. We've got a, a group of volunteers from a local Zumba class. They're going to be following your lead in a moment. But obviously the okay. secret must be doing this sort of work every day. That's why you look so fantastic. To be honest, um, I, I've been doing this for 30, 35 years, and uh, it's, a, it, it's a moderate exercise. It isn't hard and fast. It isn't, you know, strict aerobic. Um, but the exercise plus some fairly decent food along the way, 30 years later, 73, mm. is not too bad. <laughs> and have you any idea the impact you were having at the time? I've got a bit of a confession. I was a student at the University of Winchester. We have a student TV channel called Pulse every week. I was your equivalent. I was the black god wearing a, a black leotard and a funny old mask. It was pretty hideous compared to you, but you were an icon to us all. <laughs> oh, that's lovely for you to say so. Yes, I mean, I did make an impact, and I would walk down the street, and there were people sort of doing exercises in front of me. And even now in London, I can go up an escalator, and somebody will call across, oh, green goddess. So it's really quite nice. What escalators, then? What was the weirdest place you ever did the workout at? Um, well, we were in Aberdeen, um, up at the Bridge of Don, training the, the soldiers for the Falklands, for example. We were on naval ships at wow. sea. Uh, the Q, uh, QE2, I think it was. Yeah. Um, uh, in in steel work. All sorts of places. And, you, and your legacy remains because every Saturday on BBC Breakfast we do a different sporting feature all designed at getting people off the sofa, following your lead, your mm. original lead. It, it's really important to do that actually. I try and lose the word exercise these days and say activity. Get up off the sofa, do an activity, and if possible do it with somebody else because that motivates you to keep doing it. Absolutely. Now I've got an excuse. I've got to get back to the studio. I've got two uh -huh. minutes to get there. So I'm going to leave everybody, once again, in your capable hands, and we're going to hear those famous words again. <laughs> Good luck. So, get up, wake up, and stretch up. Let's get Britain fit. So come on, girls, let's get at it. Let's feel that music. Feel the rhythm. Feel the rhythm. Stamp it out. Use the arms. That'll help our cardiovascular system. And then I just want you to come towards me for a... For four. One... Two, three, four, squat, two, three, four, and forward, two, three, four, and squat, two, three, four, and again, forward, two, three, four, squat, two, three, four, and back you go. Feet a little bit wider apart, and let's swing the arms. Good. Use the arms, using the whole of the body. Good. And then we're going to start by going over the side and swing. One, two, three, and over. One, two, three, over. One, two, three, over. One, there is only one place to be when the Green Goddess is doing her fitness routine, and that's sad, <laughs> right? <laughs> Well, Linda gets in touch to say, I started my nurse training in January 1983 and remember doing the Green Goddess workouts at the end of a night shift on mm. a children's ward. Oh, she's absolutely fabulous. Um, thank you all for all your messages this morning. The one thing that's really clear is the thing that makes me...